Hi Cancer, welcome to Told Us Love. Uh, it's been more than a hot minute. <clears throat> um, if you're a first time person here at Told Us Love, thanks for stopping by and I hope you like and subscribe. If you are a returning Cancerian, um, thanks for being patient with me as I took a little reprieve from um, posting. Um, if you are a cancer born June 21st through the 23rd, you should check out my Gemini Cancer Cusp readings. There could be something there for you. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of cancer in your chart. I had a bitch of a time trying to upload a video for you yesterday, and I ended up just taking it as a sign as like, Cancer just does not want to be uploaded. So I did a Gemini reading. I've been on a serious Gemini Cancer cusp kick. That's never really happened before, so we're gonna take it. We're sitting in my little like craft area corner of my apartment with my sea glass and my other craft, crafty crap. <laughs> um, we're listening to some Grateful Dead, and we're getting it going, Cancer, because here we go. You lied to them. Um, my ex broke my heart or trust. So maybe you, who you're dealing with, or this could be you, you were lied to, and it broke your trust. Man of my dreams. It could have, there could have, been a feeling of like who you fell in love with isn't actually who the person was feeling like you've been duped and someone had just been like pretending to be someone else you turn me on eternal flirt it's like someone who they can't even help it they end up being flirty friendly are you serious? I care for you, like you, more than you know. So the story I get from this pretty clearly, Cancer, is something to the effect of... <sighs> I see someone who is very attractive and friendly to all they are very um they the someone who has the ability to seem to make it seem like they're flirting with you even if they're not flirting with you but it makes you feel hot and sexy because you're like oh my gosh they're flirting with me Someone here who is charming, could be considered the person of another's dreams. Um, there is an attraction here between two people, one that is eternally flirty, could seem like a playboy or a playgirl, and another person who had their heart broken and trust broken. Um, I feel like the are you serious right there is because someone's saying like if are you serious about me because I just keep wanting to say like someone's going to have to wait or you're going to have to wait maybe you already are waiting you could be viewing someone or this is how you're viewed like the person of their dreams while they're viewing you as like one big flirt or the, however it works. I just, I feel like I've seen this in a Gemini Cancer cusp reading, which would make sense. But uh, there's, I'm connected with a Cancer who, however it resonates, there are two people here who like each other. And I feel like one person, because they had been hurt in the past or had their trust completely broken in the past, um was lied to like complete like a complete sham of big old lie was said to someone 
and now their trust is completely broken and while they may actually really like you and think you're actually really cool or however it resonates they're nor they're nervous and scared that someone is just a flirt with everybody but this this could be the person who's been hurt and doesn't want to admit that beyond just being turned on I actually care for you and like you more than you know but if you are serious about me like if I really am the person of your dreams then I just keep I hear I'm hearing like slow and waiting cancer it's at the bottom of the deck why do I feel jealous when I shouldn't be this, there is someone here who's like, maybe they're lying to themselves. They're lying to themselves, trying to be like, this isn't, I care for you more than you know, because this person doesn't want to admit it to themselves. That's why they feel jealous, because they feel some type of way about someone, but they haven't like admitted it to themselves or don't want to admit it. Shit, that has been the message, like, repeatedly in either the Gemini, it must have been my Gemini Cancer readings because that, that has heavily been, like, not trusting and believing that the person who's interested in you is actually interested in you. And that screams of insecurities. Jealousy is an insecurity. That came out reversed, but it popped upright, so I'm going to take it. That's the High Priestess. Um, cancer, you could be dealing with a Gemini, or there is something in those Gemini Cancer cusp readings that you really need to see, because I'm, I'm being reminded of the Gemini sign right here. Six of Pentacles reversed, and here's my girl, the High Priestess. That's Pisces energy. been getting some mushy messages too and I'm about to lay on the mush again right now there's a there's I'm seeing a lot of air energy Either you haven't, however this resonates, either you haven't told someone how much you actually like them, Cancer, or like how you do have like this crush, warm, fuzzy feelings on the inside for them when you think about them, or, or someone has told you that they feel warm and fuzzy and have a crush on you and you didn't communicate back a response that they were looking for, or, it's like choose your own adventure with uh, tarot, because these could all connect with different cancers, and I can see it these different ways. There's a, a very heavy, attra there's attraction a strong sexual attraction you could have already had sex with this person like a great casual whatever there's sexual attraction but it's been non-committal and someone has yet to admit or doesn't want to admit that they actually care more I care for you more than you know because this Knight of Wands is the attraction and it could have been already the knocking of a boots if you done did it with this person which I am led to believe there could have been something non-committal here like you were having maybe a fling with someone 
maybe just some um, like random night fun with this person here and there even maybe just some random sexy texts here and there um, but you've been in communication with this person but what isn't being spoken about from this person is how like your the attraction to you or your attraction to them is bringing down a guard within them it's like softening I'm like watching an ice cream oh this is so descriptive and this is so cute though you know when you take like an ice cream cone okay this is even getting more like analogous for me because I understand it soft serve ice cream a plain vanilla soft serve ice cream okay it's just plain and vanilla there's nothing special about it this is how someone viewed themselves or how the world viewed them just plain and vanilla and then at one point that soft serve plain vanilla gets dunked into the hot chocolate that hardens the outside and this soft vanilla is now encompassed in a hot but hard shell our vanilla person, whoever this resonates with, it could be you, Cancer. It could be like this ugly duckling kind of metamorphosis. Someone kind of got, got hot, but while they were becoming hot and attractive, they were hardening on the outside. Because you can't lick that vanilla. It doesn't even look vanilla anymore. It looks chocolate and it looks hard. What I'm seeing, the image that I'm seeing all, is like someone was that vanilla cone and they got dunked in the hot chocolate and where they were just a vanilla person or viewed as vanilla before, now they're kind of, it's different. You have a hot exterior, but you're hardened. Something's happened where you're hardened. And it is hot out and the effect that the attraction someone has towards that that uh vanilla cone is acting like heat so the vanilla starts to melt through the chocolate and it starts to not be so hard it becomes to soft soften it becomes messy because at its truth and, and essence the ice cream is messy in my head this makes sense i hope it makes sense for you cancer but basically someone has this could be you cancer someone's attraction to you has melted your exterior shell and like brought out the softer side of you that you thought nobody cared about or was just vanilla or if this is who you're fixated on you just think this chocolate dipped vanilla ice cream cone is so fucking delicious and mouth-watering that you are exuding a heat towards this this ice cream cone that is making the insides melt and it's like all a good perfect picture the hand getting the ice cream that's melting because the ice cream is being melted from the heat that's being exuded i hope this makes sense it's like this ice cream cone wants to melt and that's part of the beauty and the deliciousness of that ice cream mo ice cream cone dipped in chocolate is when it starts to melt and it starts to reveal its true like softer vanilla side that's hidden behind that hot hard shell you could be having that effect on someone cancer like your insistent mouth-watering desire to have them is what's melting them inside their hard shell that just appears to be very sexually attractive appears to be mouth watering but underneath it is actually a vanilla person who hardened and I this 
is my first reading of the day. Can you tell? Because it's just coming out so clearly. I think that vanilla person may have had their heart broken or something happened in life that made them hard and their hardened shell just appeared mouth-watering and appealing to others. If you got inside it though, you'd realize it was messy and that maybe this is why this person is not being truthful to themselves about how they feel, that they like you and care for you more than they want to admit. I just got all that from this. I just, um, I'm seeing someone who I feel the scales definitely are not equal. Someone is giving a lot of, I don't even think this is money. I think this is their energy and attention to someone who's just kind of like swallowing it up and taking it and isn't reciprocating. But for some reason, there's someone here who knows and understands that this is what needs to be happening right now. Like, this is what's meant to happen. Where someone might be saying and thinking like, this isn't equal, it's always me giving to you, it's me giving to you. I feel like someone here intuitively knows like, this is how, this is what needs to happen right now. And I think it goes back to like, there was an attraction. If this is something that's non-committal, like it's almost like understanding and seeing, um, going back to the flipping ice cream cone. It's like knowing and understanding that, that, um, Knowing and understanding, you're not going to get to the, the sweet, soft, vanilla side of the ice cream if you can't get past the hard chocolate shell. And if it's too cold and you're not taking a warm approach to this ice cream cone, the hard shell is not going to soften. But if you are warm and you are inviting and you are loving, that hard shell starts to melt and then the vanilla comes out. And that's what someone is doing, is like turning up the heat and feeding heat energy, hot energy towards someone who may have been heartbroken in some way, shape or form. And someone here is like, knows that this is the way that it needs to happen because normally they wouldn't do this. Normally they would not be putting this much energy into someone, but there's this high priestess just knows there's a reason to this. There's a reason why this is happening. There's a, This is a, like, why are you, like, why are you jealous when you shouldn't be? Like, what is the attraction? Like, I don't know. I just really, something tells me to stick with it and do this. Something's telling me right now to get one more card. The Four of Pentacles. Reverse. There's a lot of earth energy here. There's two, uh, there's four here, four and four, two, four, four, two, four, four. So someone could be, wow, the Empress reversed and those equal 10, which is the completion of something. I was just gonna like, I was just gonna say like, why someone like cannot explain their attraction here? Why are you fo why are you giving to this person? Why is that person giving me this their time, their energy? Like, why are they giving it to me and I'm not giving anything back? And someone is just like, I feel like they intuitively know that someone is in need of like maybe a loving motherly energy. Mm -hmm. 
this is it's like I'm not your spouse but I'll act like you're your I'm your spouse because I intuitively know that that's what you need and it's like almost like what this person wants and needs like some what someone wants to be giving to like I want to be giving you my energy Maybe like the third day in a row this has happened in a reading where a card is coming out to clarify the card that it's I had the Emperor yesterday and the Empress clarifying the Empress a couple days ago three of cups reversed I feel like I hear someone or I'm looking at someone who's saying like I'm good on my own I don't I don't want to be with anybody but at the same time it's like they miss having a good time and going out and being happy I'm hearing like they miss going out and being happy like they're saying I'm not interested in love or a relationship I'm just gonna stick to being single but while they're being single it's like they're looking over their shoulder at all the other people having a lot of fun going out and doing stuff and it's like <sighs> I think that's what's being kept a secret this is the really big secret I think that's why the high priestess is here twice with the three of cups reversed I also just took a totally different look at this and I'm realizing there could be someone here who it's like almost like an addiction to women specifically a secret addiction to women partying with women paying for everything even if you you don't have the funds acting like you're not or maybe it's not even women partying with other people Acting like you're not um, a mother or a father and just acting wild. This is like a secret side of someone. Someone secretly could have multiple um, mother, like children. I don't know who the hell this resonates for, but someone having children with multiple women and like not all the women know about each other. Like someone is not, someone is keeping secret who they're giving money to or saving money to because they actually have a child or children with more than one want more than one empress but there's a woman here who thinks she's the only empress in someone's life and that's not the truth Maybe that's why someone's ex broke my heart and trust because there was a, a child, a hidden baby. Why do I feel jealous? Well, you know, yeah, I mean, I think there's reason to be jealous there. Ooh, temperance reverse. Um, that's Sag energy. Everything is fine. There's a lot of imbalance here.
I also see if there was um, a split between two people, like if I'm hearing like something couldn't get off the ground because someone has a drinking problem. It's like drinking and partying way too much in excess. Like you're never going to have the start. You're never going to have the relation, the healthy relationship you're looking for. It will always only ever be casual and just sexual in nature. Um, because someone needs to, I feel like, um, I feel like something into the intuitively in them tells them they know they they need to look at and address their partying and um their drinking it's almost like someone's recognizing and accepting that all the partying and the drinking they've been doing is affecting their health health physically mentally I feel like I'm looking at someone specifically holding like a beer belly being like this is my beer belly from partying with my girlfriends all the time. King of Swords, that's Gemini energy. Cups. I feel like that King of Swords is like by day someone is like straight and like emotionless but It's like they're the ones who in, who are inflicting the own, their own wounds on themselves. Someone's watching a change happen in themselves and I feel like they don't like the change that they're seeing. Knight of Swords with the King of Swords. The Hermit, that's Virgo energy, reversed. Okay, I see someone here getting, here we go. Someone here getting drunk and having sexy conversations with multiple wi women specifically while he or her is drunk, like drunk. I don't even remember what I said last night, drunk. Someone who has a lot of wounds. There is uh, air energy in the core of this it could be an air sign but um like i see virgo i see sagittarius i see heavy pisces six of cups knight of cups reversed six of swords or cancer, you could be connecting with or considering giving up drinking. You could be connected with someone that you knew years ago who has literally given up drinking and you feel a little bit like it's kind of an odd ground because you don't know what, you're just like so different now. You used to be party, party partners and now you're just very different people. Someone's more focused on health and uh, balance and the other person just isn't focused on that the same. I feel like there is someone who's moved on from something that used to be painful in their past. So when they see the same old triggers come around, they're able to like identify it and maybe shut it down or use coping mechanisms. Cancer followed by Leo. 
Something could be happening. Cancer to Leo season. Gosh, and Taurus is right here. And then we'll be going into Gemini. Maybe something's going on for you, Cancer, like literally right now. From May till mid-August. Um, it could be a change of employment. It could be um, change of address. It could be a change of a boss. It could be... Um, I feel like you're manifesting this. This hasn't come yet, but it will come and the day will come and you'll, or whatever it is you're working towards or looking forwards, the day will come and it'll just kind of pop out of nowhere. And something tells me like this is manifesting. The things that you're thinking, the things that you want to happen will ha happen because you have a very strong intuition and a very strong thought pattern. And, um, I think you, you, it's like you're charging forward to a sun and a sunset that hasn't even risen yet, but you know it's going to come and you know the sun is going to set. So what's the sense in sitting and waiting for it? I might as well start chasing it now and then poof, what you're looking for will pop out at you if it hasn't already. Someone is very set about what they want, what they're working towards what they don't want in their life. I feel like I'm almost seeing the evolution of someone who had had some shit they needed to deal with, put up some boundaries, and is now like, chickity check yourself before you wreck yourself. Cancer. I hope something in here resonates for you. If it does, please let me know. Um, again, check out the Gemini Cancer Cusp readings if you are born the 21st through the 23rd. Stay tuned for more readings coming around. I'll see you soon. Bye.